Blessed are the peacemakers, says Jesus, for they will be called children of God. Thank you for the chance to speak to you for a few minutes before you go off to spend a very busy day hard at work. And thank you too for this particular gathering on this morning. To be in this historic neighborhood, to be with so many different kinds of people and to see old friends again, to eat and to talk together with excitement and anticipation, this right here and now is a wonderful experience. Anyone who follows the news knows that this kind of gathering, safe, with food for all, is rare. Anybody who's ever read a history book knows that this kind of gathering is rare and precious. What you are all about to do is very important, but what you are about to do should not overshadow these few minutes here and now. As Susan said, for about 10 days this past January, I traveled with a group of Lutheran bishops from the United States and Canada to Israel and Palestine. Some other people went too. Some of them are here this morning. We arrived during the height of the violence in Gaza, and the trip was both more interesting and more sad than anything I could ever have imagined. But what I mostly remember, forgive me for this if it seems terribly shallow, what I mostly remember about that trip is the food and the great happiness with which the food was offered to us and shared with us. In both Israel and on the West Bank, leaders of government and leaders of religious communities and individuals in guest houses and in their homes set before us meals that had been lovingly prepared and while we ate with them, they opened their hearts to us. We argued with some of these people. If you know Lutheran bishops, you know that they think arguing is an art form. <laughs> but I will never forget the kindness and the generosity I experienced on that trip. And I submit to you that our work, our work in these days and our work in the largest sense, should in every way make for the expansion of the freedom to eat in peace and to share life around a table without fear. All of the political judgments that people make about the Middle East, all of the difficult calculations, the study of history, the dreaming of a future, all of this is important because it can make for a certain kind of peace which is not the peace of a prison, not the peace of an armed camp. What we are after is God's peace, the peace which passes understanding. The sign of this peace will be people seated around their tables without fearfulness or anxiety, with enough to eat, with enough to share with all their neighbors. I pray that you will go bravely on your way today. You will not be doing everything, but you will do something. You will be taking that place within that line of peacemakers who are blessed, who are called children of God, says Jesus. You will put your faith into action by bearing witness that peace is God's will, not for the Middle East alone, but for this whole world. And when peace does come to the Middle East, as it will, I hope you will remember this day and your part in it and the blessings that come from being able to do this work together. In Jesus' name.